is Dr. Chu Heng Hai. Uh, he will be presenting to us his paper on bowel aid as supplementary treatment for pain associated with sling surgery. of this attack is two, uh, three to four times a week. In the past history that she has actually undergone the weight in string surgery in 2008. The intervention we gave to her after she has failed every intervention including traditional medicine, we give her bowel aid, a class one medical device in the form of a special toilet seat. What this toilet seat does is only provide a supplementary carry floor support during defecation. The result is good. It's, the result is very good. After two weeks of using it, she started to appreciate reduction in pain. After about two months, she was confident that she was going to benefit from it. After six months, she's practically free from the pain except for the incidents when she withhold her bladder for too long. Good news is that after one year, she reported that she can have sex without pain. So, in discussion, I would like to share this. Bladder descends during defecation, even in healthy women. Those who have never undergone any surgery, those who have never pregnant before. Constipation. More than 50% of the constipation are obstructive type, secondary to periflor second. Like this. And Professor Soligo even showed that constipation associated with those who have urinary incontinence and POP are exclusively related to posterior aspect of pelvic floor support <coughs> problem. With the sling, we correct the front part of the pelvic floor disorder, but the weakness of the pelvic floor allowed the pelvic floor to descend during defecation, bend the passage, cause obstructive defecation. With that, the patient has to strain. With straining, is not only descend the pelvic floor, but it exert on the surgical side. Gradually, it causes problems. In coronal section, you can see this is the mesh in the other position, but with straining, it descends. But initially, it may be reversible, but after that, it gradually migrates. And when it touch the uh, plexus, the nerve plexus, it started to cause pain, and it may go further, go erosion into it. And we know this descent of pelvic floor is the most common cause of constipation. That means by support alone, it helps. In this study, 90% of the women who have constipation, just by support, the constipation improved. So now we produce the support in the form of mechanical support. The support actually protects pelvic floor from harmful effects of repeated pushing, downward push and straining. And both this mechanical and manual bowel, uh, bowel aid, the support, has actually has a lot of clinical evidence to support it. Just by having the support, it facilitates the application, smoothen the passage. So, when we apply on patients with slings after sling surgery, this is what will happen. The application can take place without pushing down the pelvic floor. Then it protects the pelvic floor, allow the wound to heal better, allow the scarring to surround it, and uh, lead to the benefit. So I would like to summarize this thing in this very few seconds video. So, in conclusion, bowel aid is safe, evidence-based option, and it just provides supplementary pelvic floor support during defecation. If we can keep the pressure on the surgical side within physiological limit, the gold standard treatment, 
the mass surgery for UI can continue to serve the society. My recommendation here, Bauer-Aitzin is so conservative, it should be recommended not only for those with mass complication, but also after surgery and those who have urinary incontinence before they end up, uh, before they need the surgery. So, and I would like to share this. Uh, we need to explore with more clinical study. And I would like to share this information, take this opportunity. Conservative evidence, a selection of, uh, conservative evidence selection of strict uh, evidence-based medicine, which confined to conventional published evidence may not be sufficient for us to find solution. That's why UI, uh, sling surgery, we end up with so much of problem. And it also is not sufficient to protect us from medical legal cases. I was approached by one of the leaders from this group, the top leader, and they would like me to share this information. In this website, they compile all these blogs and also website from the patient, and also update with the latest medical evidence, and also update with the latest medical legal case. So with this, I think we can will be in par, we will be, we will understand the problem better. And from what we communicate with them, what I know that what the consumer want is they more they want more aggressive evidence searching and conservative in intervention. But in real medical world, I think we are quite conservative in accepting medical evidence, but we may go invasive in our surgery. I think we need a reverse one. Thank you for your attention.